Hello, we are back at the Eureka Walmart for our weekly Walmart haul. Um, this week looks so much better than last week. If you saw last week's video, there was so many shortages. It was ridiculous. This week, there's a couple empty spots, but overall, it looks so much better. Um, I was surprised by how many comments I got about like, why do you shop at Walmart? There's plenty of places where you can get fruits and vegetables um, that don't have shortages. And I agree that there are plenty of other places. Um, but the reason we shop at Walmart is because it is cheaper than the local grocery stores. Uh, it is cheaper than the local farmer markets. Um, so yes, this is why we shop at Walmart, because it is the cheapest. And at this point, with the price of gas and everything, every little bit counts. So yes, that is why I buy the majority of my fruits and vegetables at Walmart. Um, a lot of stuff, I, I still shop at the other stores and I still shop at farmer's market when the price is comparable, but it's not when it comes to fruit and vegetables. So um, for example, I'm going over here, I'm gonna pick up two heads of cauliflower here. They're what, $2.74 a head. At my local grocery store, they are $3.99 a head. I've seen them at my local produce stand for $4.99 a head. So yes, I'm gonna buy them at Walmart. Um, jalapenos are $1.38 a pound. At my local grocery store, it is $3.99 a pound. Um, or like six of them in a little basket for $2 at Farmer's Market. Uh, here, the watermelon, $7.98 was too much, and so it's now $3.98. I pretty much knew that was going to happen. The watermelon was way too expensive. I don't eat watermelon, so it's no big deal to me, um, but hopefully they'll move them along before they go bad. Uh, and so uh, I saw this case of hamburgers for $24.98, 32 uh, patties for $24.98. I don't know if it's a good deal or not. I I buy my uh, hamburger at a local farmer. Um, what is it called? A creamery. A Mar the Marcout Creamery. And they have a good deal. Uh, that's a good deal. There's sometimes, you just have to shop around because sometimes the farmer has a good deal on meat but his fruits and vegetables are not always a good deal. Um, so it's just, you know, I appreciate everyone's comments, but even when I don't agree with them, um, Walmart is still cheap and that's why I shop here. And, but I do pay attention to the local farmer's market and produce for when they have a good deal. And every once in a while they do, but not lately. Let's see, this is, what is this, the pork? Pork steaks is looking a little low because it was Memorial uh, Weekend last week, and so uh, they just need to restock. Chicken is looking very good. I was surprised um, how much chicken was here. So yeah, it is definitely looking a lot better. So yeah, maybe there is no shortages this week, but I'll tell you what there is. There is tons of price increases. Oh my gosh, I noticed so many price, price increases. I, I could go all day long, but I'll just do a couple off of the top of my head. Um, first off, here's hot dogs. So the, the $1.18 hot dogs um, used to be 98 cents last month or the month before. Those Lunchables are $1.82. They used to be $1.48 within the last couple months. Um, the off-brand by Armour was $1 and now they're $1.10. So that has went up. There is a personal shopper right there. Um, cream cheese, Philadelphia cream cheese. Last month I bought a two pack for $3.98. This month the two pack is $4.48. That is a 50 cent increase. Here is the marked down um, bakery items. I didn't see anything. I was looking for a pie because that pie I got a couple weeks ago was well worth it. Um, I did buy a thing of 18 count eggs. So last time I bought them, it was $2.71. Now it's $3.24. The cost of eggs is just going up and up. Um, so there was the cream cheese I was talking about that went up. Butter, butter is another thing that went up. When I bought the four pack last month, it was $3.18. Now it's $3.58. So that went up 40 cents since the last time I bought some. Um, orange juice is looking good. The water looks great. Uh, that is definitely stocked back up this week. Going over here to check out the baby formula. Um, there is some baby formula, but it's back again. It's like the toddler, um, not the infants that people are looking for. 
And I think this is just someone found it in a warehouse. Because remember, uh, the president, you know, imported a bunch from, like, European countries. And they'll have European handwriting on them. None of these do. So that airplane full of formula did not reach St. Louis. Um, going to pick up a cube of Dr. Pepper. That price has, may, has remained the same for the last four months. Um, so yes, I've been paying $8.98 this year, but remember last year it was only $8.18. And we, let's see, what is this aisle? Oreos. I skipped that aisle, but Oreos was $3.67 and now they're $3.98. So that went up 31 cents. So now I'm going down this cereal aisle. Um, it's looking pretty good. There's a couple like empty spots, but overall it's looking pretty good. I do end up buying a box of Fruity Pebbles for $3.98 family size. Um, I don't know if that's a good deal or not because I haven't bought cereal for a while. Pop-Tarts is looking a little low. School did get out, but people, parents still buy that good snack stuff for summer school and um, trips to the parks and stuff. Salt is looking a little low. Sugar looks great. Um, spices is looking a little low. Let's see what else. That bottom aisle, what was that? Brown sugar? Or did someone just throw something down there? Not for sure what that empty spot was. Plenty of syrup. It looks like they consolidated that aisle. I felt like that used to be bigger. Uh, here are the cake mixes. That looks fine. Flour. That looks a little smaller too. I feel like they're consolidating um, stuff that's usually low. And let's see. No, nothing. Okay, that lady was stocking oil. So the cooking oil looked great. No shortages there. That's the um, Mexican aisle. I'm just looking at the orange soda. My husband loves orange soda, but he don't like that brand. And so yeah, plenty of cooking oils. And I was looking at the Crisco baking sticks because I just made two cakes. Um, $4.38 for four sticks. I used to pay like, I swear, $3.48. So that's almost a dollar more. Um, vinegar, it looks great. Dried beans looks great. That price has stayed the same. And let's see what is it? back to the Mexican aisle. Salsa looks fine. And I am very fast today. I, I was, there was a lot of people. I just didn't want to be here right now because um, the there's been an uptick of COVID cases in the St. Louis area. And so I kind of was like a little fast. I just wanted to get my stuff and gone. So yeah, sorry for anyone that I give you motion sickness. I'm in a hurry. So mushrooms, I picked up four cans of mushrooms because... Uh, we do make our pizza at home once a week and my side i like mushrooms and onions oh there's those starburst i'm sorry starburst lucky charms a box of marshmallows only i resisted the urge <laughs> does sound cool doesn't it just marshmallows from lucky charms but no i don't need any of those campbell soup the price is the same like a dollar 17 for most of the soups and um candy looking a little low definitely looking a little low the low the ramen noodles is looking a little low we don't have any um what do they call it uh restrictions here like you can only limits we don't have any limits here in the st louis area except for baby formula um i watch a couple other youtubers that show like limit signs like they could only buy like two boxes of ramen noodles we don't have that here uh, thank goodness I, I don't like the idea of limits but I guess some areas do that Parmesan cheese looked good I actually got two more Parmesan cheeses pasta sauce is looking a little low uh, macaroni and cheese always looks pretty low but pasta there was a lot of great value pasta instead of the name brands and pizza sauce remember I used to, I like the chef word pizza sauce used to be 98 cents now it is what is it a dollar 18 so it went up 20 cents um there is that's actually looking a low the chef boyardi ravioli um definitely picked over there what else have i not talked about oh our club soda that i buy a bottle uh a couple months ago was 72 cents and then last month it was 84 cents and now it's 87 cents so there it's like 
recent increases, and I'm, I'm sure someone's thinking, well, that's not much. Why are you complaining? It all adds up. And then I did not go down the frozen food sections. I just don't buy that much frozen food. Um, here is the canned meats. So remember the little single serving of the canned chicken was 98 cents a can and now it's $1.33 a can. So canned chicken went up 35 cents. Uh, the red salmon is the same at the $7.14. Um, that is expensive, but that's the average cost of salmon. And let's see, I realized I never saw the peanut butter aisle. And so I'm going to backtrack and find the peanut butter. What is this? The mayo. Um, it looks fine. Barbecue sauce is looking pretty empty. But remember, everyone barbecues on Memorial Weekend. So no surprise there. It'll be restocked in no time. This is St. Louis. You can always find barbecue sauce. Um, most of those barbecue sauce brands are local. So definitely barbecue is a big thing in St. Louis. And let's see, now I'm going back to find the peanut butter. Um, so there is still a couple jars. That's where the GIF was. There's a couple jars of Peter Pan. Um, not much, but there's still a couple jars left. I just mention it because my sister went to Walmart yesterday. That's 45 minutes away from this one. And there was absolutely no jars of peanut butter whatsoever. And so if you want peanut butter, I suggest you buy it now. Because with Jif being recalled, everyone who normally buys Jif is going to buy the other brands. And then it's going to take a while for Jif to hit the market again. And so, yeah, there will be peanut butter shortages for two to three, probably four months, um, if not more. And, you know, I always check out the canning section right before I leave. And it's looking pretty good. There's a couple empty spots, um, but there's still lids. It's lids that I'm always worried about. Because when you reuse your old jars, you have to use a new lid. So plenty of lids here. And then I stopped by <laughs> the shaving cream aisle. Yes, I bought two cans of shaving cream just because they say Jurassic World on them. You know, by my name, 80s Joy Hunter. I'm an 80s girl. I love Jurassic Park. I've seen that the original like a hundred times at least. So I had to get two of these cans. They're $1.84. I did hear that some Dollar Trees have them. So remember, a Dollar Tree is now $1.25. So if you want some shaving cream, check out the Dollar Tree. And there is what we got. So yes, there is the Fruity Pebbles. I could not resist. I haven't had Fruity Pebbles for like ever. And then my husband's treat was Zingers. Those are the Parmesan cheese I picked up. Those Zingers is a perfect example of shrinkflation. Um, I go back down here for some reason. I guess I only got one and now I decided I had to have two because each can had um, different dinosaurs on it. So anyway, going about Zingers, when my husband, um, Zingers used to be two pack, two of them, I'm sorry, one Zinger was one serving. Now two Zingers are one serving. They are, my husband's like, oh my God, these are so small. So they made them so small that not two of them counts as the serving. Ridiculous. 